Okay guys, a little uh, cooking video. I know you guys like these. And um <coughs> sorry, just got done running around post office and everything and you know how it is at Christmas at the post office. Everyone looks like a psycho in there. But uh, here's the ingredients. This is uh, an Italian dessert. My mom used to make it every Christmas and Thanksgiving or Easter. All three. I loved it. I loved it, man, as a kid. And it's called ricotta pie. Well, we call it ragut pie. But it's, it's made with ricotta cheese. And you can make, uh, you know, ricotta cheese. You can either make it a, a dinner menu, a dinner with it or a dessert with it and you know it's in lasagna and uh, it's in raviolis but you can also make it a, a, a dessert too and th this is really good um, this is one of my favorites my son Pete loves this stuff you know and uh, I'm gonna have to save him a slice so it's a dessert I'm just gonna show you what you need here's the ingredients it's not hard to do okay now want to show that rich I'm wearing my jersey you sent me there we go even though this guy's out for the season we're probably going to retire now because he's all fucked up and uh, I will not wear this while I'm cooking though I'm not going to screw it up now first thing you need is this ready I think I ain't gonna make this from scratch I mean come on I'm just a I'm a gun dude this is this works great this ready to bake cry cry this ready to bake pie friggin crust see it get this shit it just rolls out and take it out 20 minutes before you're ready to cook because when it's in the refrigerator it's stiff and it's hard to work with what's up so get that now everything else is going to be from scratch you'll need regatta cheese now the most important thing is not really the brand I mean this is a this is a no-name brand but as long as it's whole milk, as long as it's whole milk, regatta cheese, it'll come out good. Okay. Now there's higher end regatta cheese out there. If you want to buy them, spend more money, that's fine, and it'll come out even a little better. But this is fine. It's all how you season it, and mix it. You know what I'm saying? So you want that, and this is uh, how big is this? It's this big. This will make one pie. It is 32 ounces. Okay. Whole milk just do not get part skim. It'll taste like shit. It'll taste like whale sperm. You don't want it to taste like that. Okay? Alright, so you need that. How do you know what whale sperm tastes like? I can imagine. I have a good imagination. Uh, let me, let me uh, zoom back a little. Uh, that's just felt better. It's my big body. That's what it is. Okay? You need a, a, a like a pie, a pie pan. This is a, a dish. A pie dish, I guess you call it, about this big. I don't know. It looks like it's about 10 inches. All right, this is this works great. Or you can get the little cheap tin ones. You can even get the cheap tin ones with the pie crust already made in there. You know what I mean? It's already, and you can use them, but it won't be as good. You want to use what I'm using you. I'm using here. Uh, you're gonna need sugar. I just it's just my sugar container. I try to have to fill up three times a day because when I drink coffee, I half the cup sugar and half of it's cream and like two drops coffee. So you need sugar. You need a can pineapples. Now if you don't like pineapples, you do not have to use pineapples. You don't have to use pineapples at all. But this recipe, the way we make it, uh, we make it with pineapples. And I think it's awesome. Okay. You're going to need a friggin' orange. Because you got to put orange zest in, and zar orange zest is you get the uh, just uh, the skin of the orange and grate it, and you only need a little bit because this shit is strong, and you just grate it and, it, and it it puts a little orange taste in it. You need this, so you need an orange. Another thing you need is vanilla extract flavor. This is cheap stuff. It's not the good stuff, but if you have the good stuff, lucky you, and your pie will be better than mine. But this works. Yellow vanilla flavoring extract okay you need that and you're going to need some rice that's why we keep our rice in here and uh, jasmine rice to me is the best so you need rice you need some eggs you need some ebomies 
If something reminds me of a YouTuber, I want to say. He now, reminds me uh, of an egg. Bill reminds me of sugar, because he's a sweet guy. So we're gonna put some Bill in there, we're gonna put some Ebomi in there. And we're gonna need a little bit of flour, just a little bit. I have this big bag out here because uh, it's I don't have a container for flour. But I think it's just like a tablespoon or something, but I'll show you. I'll get it all pre-set up and show you everything, okay? Now, who reminds me of flour is my hollow point, because he is a little dusty. Okie dokie, dickies. There's everything preset. We'll go over this real quick. Try to keep these videos short. Get yourself a big ass mixing bowl like that. Or if you have a stand mixer, even better, which I do have. We'll not decide if I want to use it or not. Um, you want a whole container of ragut cheese, of ragut cheese, right? Whole milk, remember? Four eggs. And the reason why I use a black bowl is a, there's a reason for that. Because I don't like eggshells. And if I get a little tiny, little, tiny, little, teeny wee eggshell in my pie or taste it, it really turns me off. So if you have one, you can see it because of the black, you, you'll see an eggshell and you'll be able to get it out of there. So don't use a white bowl when you're cracking eggs. Use a black bowl. Black. All right. And then you got, I don't know, it's like a half a can of uh, pineapples, but take all the juice out. Squeeze all the juice out and dump it down the sink because you don't want too much juice, okay? You don't want any juice, as a matter of fact. Just strain it as much as you can and put it in a bowl. Half a can, okay? A cup and a quarter, a, one, and quor one and one quarter cups of sugar. There's a lot of sugar, okay? There you go. And then you have two teaspoons of vanilla extract in here. It's in the one-third cup, but that's where I, put it, I use it in here. Two teaspoons of the vanilla, okay? Here's one tablespoon of flour. I stole this from uh, Red Lobster. <laughs> one tablespoon of flour and a tablespoon of orange zest. What's up? That's the skin of the orange. And when you zest an orange, when you're, when you're, I use a cheese grater. Don't, don't get the white part. Just get the the, uh, the the orange part, but when you start seeing it turn white, move. and get, You don't want that white part in there, because that's that bitter shit. Alright, so, oh, and I wanted to show this to Bill, because I've been telling him, Bill, I want, uh, I've been telling him about this. This is a rice cooker, dude. You gotta get yourself, Bill says he likes rice, I love rice. And this is a rice cooker, you can get them at Walmart, and all you do is, well, for this pie, I had to do it different. For this pie, you put uh, a cup of rice and a cup and a half of water for the pie. Now, if, you, if you're doing the rice to eat, you want a cup of rice to a cup of water. So it's a cup to a cup. It's a measurement to a measurement. It's real easy. You put it in there with the water. That's it. You put the lid on it and just push this button down. And then it goes to red to cook. And in 20 minutes, you got fresh rice. It works so good. You ain't got to watch it. You ain't got to boil it in the pot. And they're only like $19 at Walmart. There you go. All right, so I'm going to get start getting this stuff together. Now, the rice is the last thing you put in. For now, I'm just going to mix all this shit together. And then when the rice is done and a little cold, then I'll fold the rice in with everything. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll be right back. Okay, homeboys. I'm going to dump the cheese in the friggin' stand mixer. I'm going to use the stand mixer because it's so much easier to mix in it. And uh, it does a really good job. So you want to get yourself one of these rubber spatulas to go for spanking too. You know what I mean? Uh, let's keep it clean. It's a cooking video. And I'm just going to get this, the whole thing. Doesn't matter. Even if it's a little too much, it don't matter because whatever fills up the pie, and it overflows, then it's just you just throw it out or whatever. Oh yeah, this is good because it gets everything everything out. You want one of these? All right. Now I have this this I call it a bit because I'm a tool guy. It's probably not called a bit. This is like a it don't mix it too much. It kind of just folds everything in. You don't want to mix it too too much. So I'm going to use that kind of a. Uh, adjustment and that kind of uh, attachment on there okay now I'm going to pour my eggs in there 
Actually, no, I'm not. You want to mix the eggs and the, sh and the sugar together in a certain bowl, in a separate bowl, and then pour it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pour the pineapples in. There's your pineapple. Then I'm going to put in the flour, orange zest. Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla. That's the magic right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do over here is the sugar and eggs. I'm going to I'm going to beat them and beat them in a separate bowl. All right. This was the four eggs and a cup and one and quarter cups of sugar. I just beat them together in here. And now I'm going to add it in there as the shit's mixing. You know, it's just better to do. Balance is very important when uh, when you're baking. I know that. It ain't like cooking where you can just throw things together. Baking's a little different. If you don't get it right, you can really screw shit up. So I'll put that down. Lock it. Damn, that's the first one. That's fast. Okay. I'll just add the egg and the sugar. Little bits at a time. This is good stuff, man. I'm telling you guys are gonna love this. I'm still gonna add the rice, but the rice ain't gonna be done for a while, so. Alright, this is where I suck. Cause I'm not used to doing this. I usually make this without a pie shell, but I'm making it with a pie shell because it, it makes it look better, and it is better. I think that's mixed enough, so let's turn this, this friggin' thing off. And what you do is you get these pie, you get this pre-pie shells, they're really good, man. They're fresh, and they're already made for you. They're already cut in a circle and everything, see? So what I did was, there's, I buttered this, just butter it, just get a stick of butter and just, just be lazy like me. And I'll just lay this over it, like that. All right? Just shape it in there. And if you got some broken spots, just smush it together. Now, I don't know how to do this pie shit. So, I'm just, you're seeing me do this for the first time. I have no idea what the frig I'm doing. I'm just putting this in here. Like that. And... Gotta make a crust. Okay. The rice is done. Let me get back a little. I don't like showing my sink with dishes in it. It looks like shit, don't it? What do I think of the new YouTube setup? Don't ask, okay? You know what was so special about YouTube? The way it looks. It don't look like everything else. Uh, I don't want it to look like Twitter. I don't want it to look like Facebook. Or I don't believe it. I don't want it to look like MySpace. It look, I want it to look like YouTube. That's what separates YouTube from all them other jacked off things, Facebook and Twitter and all. That stuff's okay, it's cool to communicate, but you don't feel like you're hanging out. You don't feel like you're, YouTube has like a really cool feeling. It feels like, it's like you can almost see the people when they're talking to you. That sounds crazy, but it does. It gives you a community feeling. Facebook and Twitter and MySpace, it's just like, it's so superficial, I can't stand it, you know what I mean? So, uh, no, I don't like the new YouTube setup, and I hope they don't force us to go to that. That's my opinion on it. Alright, the rice is cooled down. Here it is. A lot of people are asking about my tattoos. I'll talk about it. You know, when I get a new tattoo, I'll bring up these ones, because I, I want to get something else. Okay. Uh, shit, I'm not, I'm not set up. Where's my ear The rice is kind of cool, it's not all that cool. But uh, you get this spoon with the rice cooker and just plop it in there. Now you don't have to use this much rice, but I like it. I, like, I want the pie to have some bite to it, you know what I mean? And you don't have to get every single piece of rice out of the bowl. All this does is give it some texture. If you like rice pudding, you know what I mean? It gives it some texture and some bite. It takes the, the mushiness out of the pie. It just goes, the rice with the pineapple, oh man, it's such a good combination. Now what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna just like fold it in. I don't know if I wanna use the mixer for this, so I'm just gonna just mix it by hand. 
God forbid if I burn a calorie, right? Just mix it by hand until it looks even. Because you don't want to you don't want to crush the rice up. The mixer might crush it all up. You just want to. You want them floating in there like friggin' rice krispies. You know what I'm saying? Just to frig out it all. Oh yeah, man. And that's it. And you make it look like rice pudding. See? It looks like rice pudding. Now all I'm gonna do now is dump it in the pie crust, and then we're gonna make uh, the lattice for the pie crust. And that, I know it's kind of girly, but I'm telling you, it makes it, it makes it, it makes a good impression, and it, I mean, the, the crust tastes good. So let's get all the way over here. I want to thank Russell again for this tripod, dude. You saved my life with this thing. Unbelievable, I love it. That's the guy that makes the railroad spike knives. There's Bill hanging out near the microwave. Look at him. He's waiting for me to put popcorn in there. No, Bill, we're not having popcorn. All right, here we go. All right, everything's all stirred up. I'm just going to pour this in here until it's almost to the top. See, there's going to be some left over. You know, I love this camera, but the battery sucks ass. It's got as much stamina as me going up steps. Damn. I got to hurry up. All I'm going to do is cut strips. This is that pie shell because you get two in a box. I'm just going to cut strips. Lay it across. And then pinch it. Pinch it. There's one. Got to kind of measure it. Here's what you do is put your oven on 350. Preheating is very important. Preheat it first. Put your oven on 350, which I will do. Convention bake. If your oven has that, use it. Ah, some asshole unplugged my oven. Mm. Um, the time in the oven? I forget. Let me see, I'm going to have it written down somewhere. 40 minutes, okay? 40 minutes. So that's what it should look like before it goes in the oven. And you're going to leave it in the oven for 40 minutes, but eyeball it. You want the crust to be like a golden brown. Golden brown crust. As soon as it looks golden brown, take it out. All right, see. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. I just want to show you what I did with the scraps. You notice how there wasn't much of a crust going around the edge? Well, I used the scraps like this and folded them in half and just laid it all around and just smushed it into the smush it into the other part of the crust. So now it's got a nice, nice big crust going all the way around. See that? What do you think, Bill? Bill, what do you think of that? He's still waiting in the microwave. Alright, the oven's preheating and um, we're going to get this bad boy in the oven and see what it looks like when we're done. You can also, if you want, if you really want to be gay, you really want to show people you have gay tendencies, you can egg wash it. But I'm not doing that. You beat an egg and you dip a paintbrush in it and you brush the whole thing with egg. It makes it shiny and shit. Alright, see you in a bit. <clears throat> All right, there it is, all done. Uh, I said 40 minutes, but when I looked at it after 40 minutes, it wasn't brown enough. So I'm gonna say 50 minutes to an hour, but that's that's the color it should be when it's done. Now I'm looking at it through the camera, and I'm looking at it throughout the camera. When I'm not looking at it through the camera, it's dark and golden. Now through the camera, it's making the strips look real white. Maybe if I close up on it, it, it won't do that. But this is the color, that's important. Now your, your crust might crack. See how the crust cracked and all? It's homemade, man. It's not supposed to be, you know, and I don't do this. Usually I make it without the crust, just in a pan. And it's a dessert. So now what you want to do is, now right now it's steaming hot. Look at Bill, he's ready to rub his willy on there. Dude, you're going to burn your little dick. It's red hot. And we got the Colt Commander 80 series. I got a hot nut for that gun, so that's why it's here. And uh, I had that on display. 
And what you want to do is, since it's red hot, it's a, you're supposed to serve this cold. You don't want to put it in a refrigerator as soon as it comes out of the oven. Because inside it will condensate big time and you'll have, it'll get like water inside. You don't want to do that. So let it sit on top of the stove or the counter. Let it air dry. Let it get room temperature. Then put it in the refrigerator. And then later that night you have it for, for dessert. For dinner, after dinner, you well, serve it you cold. go like this with it. And if the, if the center don't jiggle, you know it's done. The center staying solid. So you know it's done. This way you don't have to stick a toothpick in there and make a hole in your pretty little pie. Alright guys, that's it. Regut pie. Pineapple regut pie.